Hi Notion is Today I'm going to show you how you can use my Slack app Sortero to send task tickets and form submissions from Slack to Notion and I'll show you how you can get this set up in less than 10 minutes. So once you've got the app set up this is how it will work. First of all you can see I've got this workflow in this channel which is called new IT request. So if I type forward slash new IT request and write new laptop choose a type of request, choose the team that I'm in and enter MacBook Pro for example and click submit. That is going to send that form submission or that request to my request database right here and if we open that up we can see all of the details I've submitted plus who submitted the request and when has been added to this Notion database along with the status and information that we would need uh, in order to keep track of the progress of dealing with that request. But you can link this to any Notion database. So if you have one already or you're managing completely different types of requests or form submissions, you know, maybe your sales team are sending details about feature requests from customers to Notion instead, you can do that with this Slack workflow. And once you have it installed in your workspace, there's no limit to how many forms you can set up or how many users can use the workflows. It's just ready to go for you. The other option that you've got is to feed the details of form submissions into a particular channel or DMs. And obviously if they're sent to a channel, then you can reply to those requests in Slack and discuss them with team members here as well. So to get this set up, you'll just need to sign up for a free seven day trial via the link in the description of this video or from my website, anotioneer.com forward slash Sortero. You'll be taken to this form where you need to enter your customer ID. And when you click start there, first of all, you're going to set up the integration so that the app can connect to your Notion database and send the form submissions there. So this is a summary of the permissions that my integration is requesting. If you click next, you have the option to either download the ticket management system Notion template, which is this one here that we were just looking at uh, for free. Or if you don't need that template, then you can select pages to share with Sortero. And I've already installed this integration, so I've already got the pages from the template connected to the integration. So I can just click allow access here. The next page is, that you see is going to be this one, confirming that that connection has been successful. And then if you click start, next you'll be installing the Slack app in your Slack workspace. So you can see the permissions that are being requested just here. And then if you click allow, then you're going to see a page like this, which contains a video guide to getting the app set up. Uh, obviously, I'm going to take you through that process now, but that's a slightly more technical guide uh, for you there as well. So now that we've done that, we can go back to Slack and to our workspace settings. And we just want to uh, go to tools here and workflow builder. And we've obviously got our workflow there. So let's just add another one. And we have got the option to set up specific workflows for specific types of requests. So let's do that now. And we'll just click next and then select shortcut as the way to start this workflow. We'll install this in my automation channel again. And this is gonna be the label for the request that users see when they're using it. So we'll call this new equipment request. Hit next. And that's that bit done. Then we need to add a step here and choose send a form. We'll call this uh, new equipment request. And then first of all, we just need a title uh, for the pages that are being created in Notion. So we'll call this summary. And we do want to make this required because you need to have a page title for each of your entries in the Notion database to make them easy to recognize. Then if we add another question, we can add what team are you in? And here we're going to choose the select from a list option. And we just want the options here to match up with the options in our Notion database. So they would be finance, marketing or sales. And that's that. We can turn off the option to make that required in case those list of options aren't suitable. 
And then lastly, we just want to add what's your request, which is gonna be a freeform text field that users can use to add details about their requests. We'll make that optional as well. So as I mentioned, you can choose to send responses to a DM or to a particular channel. So if we wanted to have the same type of workflow that we had for our other form, we can just choose automation there and then click save. And now we're ready to add Sortero's send to Notion step to this workflow. So first of all, we just need to enter our customer ID, which you will have received again via email when you subscribe to the trial. And then we need the ID of the database that we're sending the form submissions to. So to get that, I'll just open up Notion again, go down to my database for requests, which is where we're storing those requests. And we just need the string of characters and numbers just between the forward slash here and the question mark here. So I'll copy those and go back to the workflow configuration, paste that into there. And you can see at the top of the page here, we've got a summary of our customer ID and the name of the database that we have connected to the app so that you can check that you've got the right database ID there. Now we're ready to start mapping the fields from our form to the fields in the Notion database. So this is a list of the properties that are configured for, my, for our Notion database. And it's only showing the ones which are compatible with the app. So if we insert a variable and choose the response to summary as the name property, which is our title property in the Notion database. For team, uh, we can choose what team are you in. Status will be set automatically by Notion. Uh, there's a default um, option set for that property, so we don't need to worry about that. Requested by can be the person who submitted the form, but we just want to choose their email address here so that the app can match them up with the email address of the user in Notion who we want to uh, set as the requested by person. For type, because we didn't add a field for type, we always want it to be new equipment. We can just type in new equipment here. And then for our request, we want to match that up with the what's your request question. So if I click save now, that's added that step to the workflow. And I can just click publish to add that to my Slack channel. We get a nice animation like that. So if we go back to the automation channel, you can see that we've added this new workflow to this channel right here. And so now if I type forward slash new equipment request, then I have a nice short form to fill out. So this could be new mouse for marketing again and we'll just call this standard. Click Submit. Then since we've got this table view open right here, we will see that new page get created and appear there in just a second. So that's everything you have to do to get the app set up. As you can see, nice and straightforward process, but just let me know if you have any questions at all or any comments and Stay tuned, I will be sharing more apps and automations like this very soon.